Around 100 members of the British public were served a slice of Philippine culture on June 19, after two charities joined forces to provide the first ever lecture on Philippine cuisine in London. The event, organized by Asia House and Philippine Generations, was held at Asia House's Exhibition Center in Marlebone. It was spearheaded by award-winning Filipino chefs Amy Bessa and Romy Dorotan, alongside B. Wilson, food writer for British newspapers The Times and The Telegraph. Amy and Romy, who own Sondrion, a successful Filipino pan-Asian restaurant in New York, were also in town promoting their cookbook, Memories of Philippine Kitchens, which bagged the IACP 2007 Jane Grigson Award. Our mission in life is to make Philippine food uh, a world-class cuisine, because it is world-class, but just to let people know that it is there. The evening began with a presentation on the history and evolution of Philippine cuisine, followed by a question and answer session open to the audience. Together, they discussed topics like why Philippine cuisine is not that well known globally and what it would take to make it mainstream. After the talk, attendees sampled Philippine culinary classics like adobo, kare kare, and pancit, provided courtesy of the Philippine Chefs Association, grocery store the Manila Market, and restaurants Lutong Pinoy and Josephine's. The dishes received glowing responses. This is definitely the first time I've ever tried Filipino food and Tell I didn't me. know what to expect. What do you think about it? Um, I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised. It's the first time I've tried it, so I'd recommend everyone to do so. Filipino food seemed to have an incredible range of various tastes, you know. It was astringent, quite flavoursome, tangy. Tangy is the word I would put for it, you know, and not heavy. Despite the compliments, a problem was highlighted. I'm awfully sorry, I don't even know if there's a major Filipino restaurant in London. Romy, who starred on US television show Martha Stewart, said more Philippine restaurants need to be established in order for the cuisine to reach the public. He also provided one theory why Philippine cuisine lags behind its Asian counterparts. Kung ang Filipino nag establish ng restaurant, they only really cater to Filipinos, as opposed to kung Ang mga Vietnamese, Thai, they don't cater to Vietnamese, to Thai or the Chinese. They cater to the, the broad market. Amy Bessa provided a recipe for the progression of Philippine cuisine. All you need is a group of Filipinos that are very passionate about their food, who are professional. You need that, you need very good ingredients, and you need the support of the Filipino community. And once you have all of those, those are the seeds for making the food known. Overall, the event's organizers felt the evening was fruitful. We've had a fabulous response. Um, we've had people contacting us from outside of the community, and these are the exact kind of people we're trying to target, because we're trying to show them what Filipino cuisine is all about. Everything we do here has to have an educational side to it. And I think that really came across tonight. I think people learned something, which is what we always want them to, to leave with. And also, they've had some delicious food, so. We hope everyone's happy. Philippine Embassy Deputy Chief of Mission, Reynaldo Catapang, was encouraged by the interest generated. We'll have to organize more events like this so that the, the British uh, public will know more about the Filipino cuisine. The Philippine Chefs Association already has an event lined up in collaboration with the Department of Tourism scheduled for September 27. On that day, Filipino chefs will get the chance to showcase their cooking skills at a Philippine cooking expo in the UK. It's time for us to show that Philippine food is a great food as well. We, we can show to the people that Filipinos are very good in everything. Edward Lau, London, United Kingdom.